Hey guys, what's up? This is Max from Sketch FTV, and we are looking at a new plugin today for Sketch. The plugin was created on a hack day in Germany, in Hamburg, and the guys from this plugin from Sketch Runner said, Hey Max, how about testing uh, the plugin? And today we will be just doing that. So just head over to sketchrunner.com. So here you have a nice interface, you can download it, you can watch a demo video and it's basically also giving you some kind of idea what the plugin does. So on this website we have a nice interface that's basically showing us the plugin that will be then in Sketch and we get a basic idea of all the functions and all the features of this plugin. So what we do now at first is to just download it and to open up the plugin file. I already did that so we have it right here in Sketch. So we can say say uh, plugins runner and open it up and there we have this little bar that we can also drag around in a place where we want it to be positioned. That's nice. Um, so we can run many things and let's just uh, scroll through the website and look at uh, the different features and let's try them out. So run everything. We can run everything. Interesting feature. I downloaded a big sketch f uh, file, a big UI kit and we will be now using this UI kit to test out the plugin. Okay, so now I managed to open this huge sketch file and we will start out with the first feature, run everything. For example, you want to export something really quick. Just uh, open this plugin and we can now simply say we want to export. So we can simply export everything to a PDF if you would like to do that. Or we can also say we would like to have a grid. You can say grid settings. So I really love this uh, comment line interface with some quick access um, that we can use for our designs. The next feature is jump anywhere. This means we can simply type in what we want. Type in any layer, type in any group, any artboard. So for example, I am named a line layer in Sketch ABC. It's in the last artboard of the file and we are currently at the beginning, at the first artboard. And right now we will test how fast this works and is, uh, if this go-to feature is really worth it. So let's type in ABC and boom, in this last artboard it is placed. So we have a nice feature here that helps us to navigate between artboards and layers very fast. If you are working with big sketch files and UI kits then you will need to uh, add certain symbols and styles to different layers and this new plugin can also do that for you. So you can simply say we want to insert something. In this case we only have one uh, symbol created which is the standard navigation bar or status bar uh, from iOS and we can click it, this to get the status bar on our current artboard. So we can place it right here, we can uh, go to a different artboard and we can also say let's just uh, get the navigation bar to this artboard. So if you have many symbols and so on you can simply place them in the artboard that you are currently at. The next feature is that we are able to create styles and symbols. So just go to for example the text layer right here and then we simply open up the runner plugin and we say we want to create a shared text style. So we simply give it a name text style 1 for example 
and hit enter. So we have a new created uh, shared style right here. So now that we have this uh, text style created, we can apply this to, for example, the second or third item of this navigation. So we want to have this overview displayed as an active item of the navigation. So we can simply apply the text style, double click it and you see we applied the text style to this layer. But we can of course also select more than one layer, for example these three layers and right now we simply paste the text style and all of them get this white color and so on. So that was the last feature. They have an amazing story on Medium that you should definitely check out and read and also give them some support, download the plugin, test it out. It's for Sketch 3.7 and I'm sure they are happy if you tell them what, do you, what you think in the comments right here or maybe on Twitter, the link to their Twitter account is also on the website. So to download this plugin just head over to uh, the description of this video and the link to it is right there. So I hope you enjoyed this little episode. I'm currently changing my tutorials with a face cam and so on and if you like this and if you would like to see more sketch plugins and maybe even me talking to you through the camera just write it down in the comments and give this video a thumb up. Of course I would also be happy if you would subscribe to the channel if you like the videos and yeah thank you for your time enjoy your week. See you